From the beginning. <laughs> Actually, no, that's not entirely true. I can start back. Um, I, if I leave the game, I can actually jump around in the story a bit. I can go back. I cannot go forwards. And if I go back, I can't go back to where I was. Um, so, yeah. I can do that. Not Don't really want to. Just want to do it once and right. <laughs> Strange camera angle. The Nephilim. Lesser Soul Seeker. It's cost as a Reaper. Orathnar. Guess they he against Tyrio refounded the uh Roger. Sent me to find him. Malthiel has taken the Black Soul Stone. You must come with me. People are dying in that city, lad. I won't abandon them. But you and Tyrio need to form a plan. We must find Malthiel. Tell Tyrio, I will meet him in Westmarch. Go! It will be done. I swear it. Oh, well, certainly looks like the Rodrum will have their um, work cut out for them here. We're going to die! It's a really like the aesthetic of this place. It's very gothic -y. She's coming to kill us all! She? No. Come on, put a bit of motion Damage into it. Please. They're all classed as Reapers. And the emotion into it was, he's just like, Ew. It was just, I know, it was, I know, he could have put some more emotion into it. Come on. Though this Reaper wields a dangerous sword, its shield with its rows of razor-sharp spikes poses the greater threat. With a single thrust, it can open a man from waist to throat. That shield was not made for protection. It was made to cripple, maim, and kill. Hmm. So this is the guy telling... doing all this stuff now. Cool. Ooh, we didn't listen to this. The enslaved nightmares stand as testament that there will never be peace between men and demons. Sorcerers who attempt to master the dark arts and summon demons with their black spells are all damned to become skeletal nightmares, bound to the very power they try to bend to their will. Interesting. I watched in horror as the guard was struck by the maiden's magic. I heard the sound of his screams until his flesh had dissolved to nothing. And only his armor-clad skeleton remained, his jaw unhinged. Blue mist swirled around his bones, coalescing into new flesh. When at last I cut him down, the phantasmal flesh exploded, leaving only a pile of armor behind. Down. Malthiel's fallen angels have brought death to Westmarch, raising an army of reapers from the city's slain defenders. Once, these men and women were our protectors. Now... They are our executioners, scouring the city for every living soul and putting them to the sword. Mm, fantastic. We'll just put these down. Really, 60 gold? Eh, not every enemy is a moneymaker. Mm, yeah, none's changed since I was uh, I must last to use this character. This city and stop the killing. Swing a right. Reaper. Hmm. It's a new um, class of enemy. I know I keep acknowledging that. It just was not expecting Reaper to be a new classification of of enemy unit. It's, uh, expecting undead or something. Also, what does the Reaper? Uh, what does? Uh, What's his face wanted to want with the black soul stone? Plus, part of me is thinking, you know, maybe what's her face, her soul, um, Leah, maybe her soul is stuck inside the black soul stone. I mean, it's, you know, that's plenty possible. You know. Wonder, will I run into the uh, into Covetous Shen here? What about the blacksmith? 
considering they can make level 70 here. I won't be surprised. I can't do that here. Yeah, I can't uh, heart uh, town portal. Not yet, anyway. Sewer serpent. Of course. Uh, you know, in my sewers, I enjoy having giant snakes. Mm. Giant serpents in there. Especially electrified ones. They're my favorite. If your sewer has electric serpents, then you you got more issues going on than you want to admit. Old Westmarsh storehouse. Yes, I enjoy storing my all my produce by a uh, sewer. Don't go out into the streets. Victor. It's the end of the world. So many have been killed, and the reapers are everywhere. Is anyone alive in there? General Torian was defending a group of refugees at the old Zakarun Cathedral. But they're likely all dead by now. Wait, you're the Crusader who saved Bastion's Keep. You'll save us too, won't you? I will. I swear it. Ah, uh, don't mind me. Just gonna leave your door open. Hope you don't all get killed. There's a merchant back there, but of little interest. Keep moving. I think we lost her. No, no! Those with demon blood must die. Demon blood? Those were innocent people. Yes, but humans are demon and angel. You know, are, are both demon and angel blood. Are, you know, of a combination. And bring a thing from real life to start shite, you know, one drop and all that. Shadow of Death. Alright, we'll listen to that in a moment, once we can budge and all these down. One, two, three, four. Blinding ghosts. The shadow touched me, and darkness spread across my vision. Show me on the doll where the shadow touched you. The shadow touched me, and darkness spread across my vision, till all I could see was blackness. It gave way to a pale light that sapped my strength. It seemed so easy. But instead, I drew upon the last of my will and fought back. Color flooded back into my sight. The shadow was right before me, and I drove my spear through it. Hmm. Interesting. Ooh, got a new enemy. Didn't even notice. The Revenant Shield Guards were once the personal guard of King Justinian IV. Appointed to the position for bravery and skill at arms, they accompanied the king at all times, resplendent in their ornate armor, wrought by the finest craftsmen in Westmarch. But most spectacular were their shields, which they unerringly employed in the protection of their king. Hmm. Alright. And now we have to face them as undead. Fantastic. Just what I was hoping for. We've got a shadow of dead. A door over here. Ooh. Wardrobe. Guess this is where we're setting up camp. Wow. You know they really shouldn't really, really do. Um they really shouldn't have the wardrobe symbol there just yet. Kind of spoilers. Book of Cain. Christ, this is a lot. The One, two, three, three four. Ooh, enchanted ones. Reverend Soldier Ar Arcane! Die now! Okay, let's just position ourselves here to intercept all the enemies that spawn. They seem to just want to meander around rather than actually assail the church, but. In case maybe they put one and one together, uh, 
you know, yeah, one and one, two and two, whatever. They, in case they put it on together and want to actually, you know, the sale of the church, may want uh, the cathedral, may want to, you know, position myself that way. Ooh. That's a general. Crusade marches on. And I got a new passive. The thought. Towering Shield. Increases the damage of Punish, Shield Bash, and Blessed Shield, and reduces the cooldown of Shield Glare. You can also get Blunt, which increases the damage of Justice and Blessed Hammer. There was one thing I wanted to get at level 70, but I don't remember what it was. I'd probably go with Towering Shield, but I think maybe it was like Righteousness, or Vigilance, or... Um, holy cause or insurmountable. Divine fortress could be it. Hold your ground. I used to come to worship here when I was a child. Actually, yeah, the Templar apparently came here before when he was a kid. If you didn't hear that, there, he used to come to worship here. As a child. Interesting that he even remembers that. Oh yeah, he unlocked all his memories, didn't he? You can no longer dodge, but your block chances increase by 30%. I'm not sure, should I just buff up these by 20%? Or should I go with um, that? So this will happen even more. No, you know what? I need to do more damage. Do you Vance? Yep. Cormac, you seem troubled. For too long have I lived with the knowledge that my order tortures its initiates and twists their minds. I need to know how high this evil reaches. If my whole order is corrupt, what does it mean to be a Templar? What am I? An honorable man who dedicated himself to a cause he believed righteous. But it wasn't, was it? The guilty will answer for their transgressions. I swear it. And I'm sure they will. Tyrion, why are Malthael's armies attacking Westmarch? Because he feeds on death. Every time his reapers kill, he grows stronger. And with the prime evil gone, Malthael believes this is the perfect time to end the eternal conflict. Humanity has nothing to do with that war. But we are descended from demons and angels. When Malthael looks at us, he sees demons. Because he's a cunt. All the refugees are inside. Follow me. Uh, and yeah, that is actually the general. Cool. Oh, that's not a good sign. Akarat's Bay. This is worse than I feared. What is that? I can't tell. Was that a, you know, poor voice acting part, or is it a, what is that? You know, it's just like so fucked up. He's just no words for it. Okay. When I level up now, I'll start getting uh, Paragon points. A death me. Stop her! Nebula, your soul will be mine. I too, uh, uh, she's been blinded by my, you know, dashing good looks. I too. Sometimes my English is not cooperate. I'll have a look at the war once she's uh, carcated. They called her a death maiden? Hmm. Well, it's good. The all the little Bobby re re uh, revenants won't be going without their uh, revenant milk. <laughs> yes. Just wanted to make a joke. <laughs> Even if it makes no sense, I just wanted to make a joke. Yeah. Okay, Paragon points. Got one here to spend in core. Uh, we'll go with increased strength. We 
must do everything in our power to slow the Nephilim down, so that the collection of souls is not interrupted. It is the key to Malthiel's victory. <laughs> oh, I'm so badass they even have to account for me in their plans. You don't really make someone feel a badass. Let's end this madness. Where is Malthiel? I know only that he is not in Westmarsh. He could have taken the Black Soul Stone anywhere in creation. But why does he want the stone? Is there any way to find out? There may be. A sliver broke off when Malthiel took the what? Soul Stone. Perhaps by studying that sliver, I can learn his plans. Then you study the sliver, while I save this city from the Reapers. When did that break off? We didn't see that. Christ, there's a lot of dead here. <laughs> I can talk to this uh, soul stone shard. Uh, sliver. Alright, Reaper. Okay. Malfail, my brother. He was wisdom. Leader of our council, first among angels, and now he has become this. How did it happen? After the destruction of the World Stone, Malthael's mood darkened, and he left the heavens frequently. Then he disappeared completely. He must have developed a connection, no, an obsession with human souls. Well, however he came to his madness, he's got to be put down. Death is meant to free our souls, not devour them. And actually, uh, wasn't he saying before that they weren't sure what happened with him, but that he just, uh, like some believe that he wanders pandemonium, was searching for the uh, answers between life and death. So, you're, you're <laughs> the writers of Blizzard seem to have forgotten that line. This sliver of the Black Soul Stone will reveal Malthael's plan to you? The sliver is still connected to the soul stone. As the stone changes, the sliver will change too. Therefore, I can observe what Malfail is doing to the stone. And if we're lucky, even discover his plan. Well, certainly very handy. I've heard of the Haradrim, but I thought they were long gone. Tyriel rebuilt the Order to help him take the soul stone from heaven and to protect mankind. After all, you can't be everywhere at once, no matter how powerful you are. Indeed, unless your power is to be everywhere at once. Oh. Trust in Ekarat. New brother. A uh, new healer person. Oh, and plenty of people to talk to. At long last, a hero comes to save us. That won't bring my wife back, though. Will it? Oh, fuck you too, mate. My library isn't far from here. I was closing everything up for the day when I heard the fighting in the streets. I barred the doors and then squeezed through the back window to escape. But I'll have to come up with something more exciting when I write my official account, won't I? <laughs> you are a terrible historian. West March originally grew from the efforts of the great General Rakis to spread his religion beyond the realms of the East. Seized by the superstitions of the Zakarum faith, he drove his paladins relentlessly across the barbaric western lands, subduing the uncivilized tribes he found there. Ultimately, he became king of them all. King Shithead. You've heard the legend of the Tomb of Rakis, haven't you? Its location has never been found. Most scholars think it's underneath Westmarch, but I suspect it's somewhere outside the city. Rakis was a clever man, after all. I'm sure we'll end up going there, considering you mentioned it. We stayed to fight, Robert and me. But it fell. And when they started to tear into him, I panicked. I ran. You did what you could. Mm. Ah! Boxmet. Do you hear something? I 
actually notice.